Hello everybody, welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> Way to go, Banjo. That's what I, that's the enthusiasm I want to hear. We finished up Freeze, well we actually didn't finish Freeze Easy Peak last time. We went there and got almost everything, but there was still one Jiggy we couldn't get. Anyhow, let's delve deeper into Grunty's Lair today, shall we? And now we've got the Cauldron Shortcut, so I can show off what this will do. Booyah! Shortcut to the cobweb room. Anyhow, there's this weird, um, stone carving of Grunty's face here. And a note door with 350 notes on it, which we can easily break. Let's go deeper. Now we are in what appears to be a volcano that spirals upward. Careful not to fall off. And we got a new world opener for Gobi's Valley. We saw that tree earlier. Gobi's Valley. Now let's delve in a little deeper before we go back into Gobi's Valley, which is the next world. We've got the monster face here. Wonder where this leads. Oh, it's a graveyard. And it looks like we're outside now. I don't know how this works. Grunty, your layer is pretty cool, I must admit. This is such a cool area, holy cow. I mean, I kind of like spooky worlds in video games, like Graveyards, Creepy Castle from Donkey Kong 64, all that jazz. Oh hey, it's Brentilda! Hanging out behind a tombstone. When I'm nice and slim once more, burgers, fries, and chips galore! <laughs> Um, that's gonna make you fat again, Grunty. I don't think you understand how this works. If you're fat, it's because it's generally because of lifestyle choices. <laughs> Did you know Warpax keeps a loogie-filled hanky in her pocket for luck? I mean, that, that, hankies that tend to end up loogie-filled if you use them a lot. <laughs> I've also seen my sister cuddling a huge sweaty baboon in bed at night. Okay. To each their own. She's really proud of her broomstick. It's a top-of-the-range Rough Rider Deluxe. Uh, tell her to use the Firebolt or the Nimbus 2001. Those are good. Anyhow. There's really nothing we can do here. We've got just this creepy old shack and nothing else. But we'll come back here later. <laughs> All right. There's also ooh this windy way, very narrow. Okay, it's another Brentilda, and a tiny little tunnel that we can't fit through. We've seen one of those before. Revolting Gruntilda's bedroom has dirty undies hanging from the ceiling. Maybe she's... maybe she don't have a laundry basket. She also has a loogie bush growing in a pot beside her bed. Filthy old bag. She really likes loogies, apparently. Also, we call them boogers in America. And you'd be sick if you saw her enormous sweaty yellow undies. I mean, that's not the worst color that her undies could be. That's why if you wear white underwear, like, it's gotta get stained pretty fast. Anyhow, enough about loogies and boogers and underwear. Let's go to Gobi's Valley, shall we? <laughs> Grunty's like, ah, ah, I am gross! <laughs> also, that is definitely not Grunty's canonical voice. Anyhow, off to Gobi's Valley. Oh yeah, we could get the waiting step boots to go over there, but no. Ah, 
All right, Gobi's Valley. You'll find one more move in here, Banjo! Last move of the game is in this world. And right behind us at the start, we get Yano Chinjo. He's just healing to us. Avoid the quicksand if you can, though. Frunker wants rain! <laughs> I'm truly not. How's your nuts, Bark Breath? Kazooie? Will eggs and feathers help? He's surrounded by water, but he can't reach it because he's a tree. Yeah, just feathers up in the trees. Gotta use the talon trot to get up these moving quicksand into slides. This right here, well, it's a sphinx. And as you can see, there's a lot of pyramids and sand on this world. Because Gobi's Valley is the obligatory desert world. But as far as desert worlds go, it's actually pretty fun. But it's definitely trickier than the last few worlds we've been to. Let's try going around the Sphinx for a bit. There are magic carpets on this level. You can use these and they can take you to different places. But we kind of want to hang out around here. Ouch! Alright, fine. Nope. Get in those boots. I go on my way to get that one ups. Because when we save and quit after every episode. Uh oh. When we save and quit after every episode, my lives are reset. Uh -oh. uh oh. That's not good. Let's try this once again. Pad there. We'll have to make use of that. Perhaps we'll make use of it now. Here's the thing, the magic carpets are kind of unnecessary since you can fly. No, no, we want that mumbo token. Oh, the Sphinx has Banjo's face on it for some reason. Let me tell you what, so you can enter the Sphinx, and it took me ages to figure out how to enter the Sphinx. Come on. Man, I forgot how annoying the flying controls can be. If you just want to turn a little bit, it's almost impossible. There we go. Yeah, if you want to enter the Sphinx, you have to land on one of these platforms. I blocked up. He's literally a sentient Sphinx. That tickles. And you gotta shoot eggs up his nose. <laughs> and he sneezes and then it opens up. Like, literally, I beat the game before I learned how you can do that. Oh, that cool juicy nose. Come on in. That is a grabber! It's like a floor master from Zelda. They pop out of the ground and try to grab you. Don't let him do that. Kind of creepy in here. Magic carpet here, I hear a Jinjo. Feed him an egg. The magic carpet goes up. Let's grab that orange Jinjo. Wait for the magic carpet to come back down, and let's repeat. Step and I could die <laughs> because I have two health left. But I'm also at the beginning of the level, so I'm not super worried. All right, first jiggy of the level. Now to get out of this mess, we're gonna use our ground pound. And we can fall to the ground without dying. Okay. Ouch. All right. Then. 
right now. Oh no! I didn't expect him to pop up that quickly. Well, at least we died at the beginning of the level. Let's try this again. That is not the right one. Yeah, I meant to use the invincibility to knock him out. Alright, level Mumbo Token, and grab the other two notes in this room. <laughs> well, hey, you just passed your best note score for this world! Yeah, because I just cut back to where I was before. Alright, let's be a little more careful on this level. Don't be afraid to use your invulnerability feathers to take out some of the enemies on this level. Yes, there are many enemies that the, invul the invulnerability feathers <laughs> are the only way to take them out. Alright, anyhow, let's explore more of the level, shall we? I didn't know Banjo had all these gold statues of him. So this is the center of the level, and there's a lot of quicksand down there. There are a few flight pads down there should you fall in, but it's just best not to fall in. It's kind of amazing that Kazooie's this fast when Banjo's on her back. Banjo ain't no light thing. Whee! It's a slide. Let's try to find bottles as soon as we can. There's a pyramid here. Up the door to that pyramid, and let's go inside. Uh. Alright, so this is a mummy. You can knock them out temporarily, but then they'll come back. And now we get to play a matching game in the pyramid. Take that. You can permanently kill them by using, surprise, surprise, the vulnerability feathers. Go! <laughs> puzzles like this are pretty darn simple, and I think it's the same every time, I just don't have it memorized. Jiggy number two. Sweet. Alright, let's get out of that dump of a pyramid. That's actually a pretty awesome pyramid. When you think about just how, just how beautiful the pyramids are, and like, people built that before they had like, advanced tools, it really blows my mind sometimes. Then again, it also took them a long time to build green gingos in here, just power them on to them. No big deal. Let's press that switch. Hollow Honeycomb piece appears in the middle of a Hollow Honeycomb cactus. Well, we can fly for that with a flight pad, I suppose. That might be a tricky one to do, though. These are giant wasps. Rat attack happen. Hey man. Touch my honey this time, and you'll be sorry! So now the honey, the beehives, they still have the free honeycombs inside it, so if you're really low on HP, you can't get them. However, they are surrounded by bees. If you destroy the beehive, the bees are going to come after you and try to sting you, and they can hurt a lot. You can use invulnerability feathers to get rid of them, but it can take quite a few in order to do that. So just be careful. There's a Kazooie Pyramid here. No real way of getting inside though, and there's bottles! Final bottles of the game. These are the running shoes! Beaky wears them on her scrawny feet to make her run really fast for a limited time! Well played, Banjo! You've now learned all the moves in the game! The last move is a simple one. 
It's shoes that make us go fast. And that's really all there is to them. We'll go down there once we can find a pair of that. Here they are. Also up here. Two notes and a pair of the sneakers. Look how fast we can run with these. And if you pick up the waiting step boots, it overrides them. You can't have both the waiting boots and the running shoes. As you may have guessed. <laughs> Oh, weird, it's playing both musics at once. What a cacophony. Here we go. Rubber's got a cheeky. Wow. What a rude hand. Well, all we can do is we can make use of these sneakers. Ouch! Ouch! Give me that. No, oh, I've had that a thousand years. Well done, mortal. <laughs> Has he just been like near, near, near for a thousand years? What a butt. At least he doesn't try to kill us like the other hands. So there's a giant pyramid here. It's the biggest one of them all. Stepping on that switch, just stepping on it, not even ground pounding it, opens up the trap door on the top. Let's see if we can get there. The answer is we cannot. <laughs> Grunty's race you cannot beat until you find some faster feet. <laughs> Grunty's race you cannot beat unless you find some sort of cheat. <laughs> How about we step on the switch, get a flight pad, and just fly to the top? Actually, it's much more simple. We just get the turbo trainers. That's why you only have to step on it. So that way, you can just use the sneakers to get to the top. Also, much like the waiting step boots, most of the time the sneakers only last for a short time. Some pairs of sneakers that last for longer, like this pair. Jumping up the slopes will make you go faster. And even, wow. You barely have enough time to do that. And wow, the pyramid is filled with water. And there are stones in the shape of a happy smile huh, in the center. Let's grab that key. That opens up the door, and that's going to drain all the water in this pyramid. And it's going to fill up the quicksand pit in the middle here. Now we can actually explore down there without getting our feet burned. Alright, thanks, Grunty. Bye. Oh. Oh, come back here, Magic Carpet. Ouch. Oh, hey, there's a camel here. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> It's too hot for Gobi! I need some shade! Please help me! Here you go, Gobi. It's your valley, after all. Here's your reward, Bear! Gobi's off to cool down! Thanks, Gobi! Oh, so the magic carpet appears over there, and you can jump on it on the way over here. Yeah! Did 
think we're back to safety. I only have free HP and I'm not really comfortable with that. Anyhow. Let's see what's down here at the bottom. We got notes, as you may have expected. But well, there's also a little something more. It's blue ginger! All we're missing now is the pink ginger. This is a, I, I, I like this world. As far as desert worlds go, this is pretty nicely done. It's got cool music. It's got ecom bulkum. And it's actually pretty challenging. As you can see, we, we, well, we've died on this level already. Alright, that's everything underwater. It's challenging, but it's really not unfair. And there's a lot to explore, and it just feels... It's fun to explore this world. When you can make a free platforming level where it's fun to explore, you've done something right. Let's try feeding him some eggs. <laughs> you like the taste of eggs, mortal? <laughs> We're still not done with the pyramids, though. There you go. Yes. Rise. Rise. <laughs> it's, it is weird how, like, all of these are decorated with Banjo's head, though. Like, is Banjo worshipped as a god here? Like Pharaoh was? Another pyramid. Let's go explore it. The sooner you explore this pyramid, the better. Because this pyramid is possibly the most dangerous part of the whole level here. This is King Sandy Butt's tomb. Turn back or face his wrath. Okay. Um, well, how, how bad can the wrath of a guy named Sandy Butt be? Chose not to heed our warning. Prepare to run! So we're now in a maze. We have to find our way out. If, if time runs out, we instantly die. Also, the witch switch is in here. Witch switch is over here. I should be in that. Oh, it's the sarcophagus of the jiggy inside. Sweet. Unfortunately, the witch switch is basically as far away from the exit as you can get. And here's the game. It's really not too bad, especially if you tell a truck. No, the bear survived. He's after the king's ancient relic. Just a little. Just a little bit. It's a jiggy! As you may have expected. It's like, no, it's actually a chalice. It's like, Banjo's like, I can't do anything of this. Gold feather in there. You can bulk him token in there. Then, last Jinjo. Alright, only three genies left. But we also only have 2 HP and we still have a few notes to play. This does not instill me with confidence. Let's grab that Eco Bogum token. Oh yay. Hey, I'm going to... I think I'm going to destroy the beehive. 